my pulse chain launch prediction if you want to know what the top g of hex has to say at launch and what we could expect when pulse chain goes live do watch this video till the end also ladies and gentlemen v3 is here which can only mean one thing mainnet is right around the corner and are you a whale are you a dolphin or are you just a little shrimp at the bottom of the seabed trying to get some scraps we're going to be talking about all those things in today's video of francis doing uncensored so what you're looking at over here is essentially pulse chains chart in terms of how many people deposited how much money in terms of usd right some more fools be putting in like about 10 bucks and shit all right cool whatever whatever tickles are fancy so we got 10 bucks over here which makes up the majority of people believe it or not which is 21,892 broke mother okay as you can see i put 100k I was like, what the hell am I talking about 31k? Let me, you know, I'll put in another, another, another 19k, right? Another 19k to make it uh, a total of 50. The, the average really is about $1,500 what people invested. So I guess I am a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. And we're getting to my actual prediction right now. Francis Dune uncensored. But 100k. So who wants to take a trip with me around the moon? Because when it's all said and done, and when this baby makes gains, when Pulse Chain goes live, and this baby makes gains, forget a jet. I'm buying a fucking UFO, bruh. Never mind Elon Musk taking passengers to the moon. I will be offering that service too. And I want to say one more thing. It's been almost two years and we've been waiting for this baby to go alive, guys. And it's almost there. Like, it's right around the corner. And, you know, I, I might be a little bit more excited than what I normally am in past videos. So don't mind me. But for good fucking reason, give me a break here. All right. So let's get right to the content. All right, guys. So Richard Hart actually sent out a tweet about 14 hours ago telling everybody that V3 is live and to expect the mainnet. So let me actually show you that exact tweet because it's very exciting times if you've been waiting on this to actually happen. And it appears it is here. So let's check that out. So as you can see right here, um, about 14 hours ago, Richard Hart, PulseChain.com, testnet, V3 is here. Uh, please use it and prepare for mainnet launch. Warning, this is the final testnet and mainnet may launch at any time now. Pulse X, um, you know, we go to the uh, the actual, you know, the test net, and I'm going to show you guys how that looks now. You know, why this is exciting? It's exciting because, you know, I think we've heard this from Richard before in terms of like, you know, you know, what when to expect the main net and that never came to fruition. But something tells me, something about this tweet just told me, hey, look, like I, I don't normally comment on tweets at all by to anyone, but I actually started a comment here and I kind of felt that, you know, this one is for real. Like this is the one here. So when that time is going to come in terms of mainnet, who really knows? But what I could say is, as I already mentioned, I think we're closer than ever before. And that's what uh, really matters at this point. You know, two years of development is, uh, you know, well, almost two years. It's about a year and a half. And I think that's given them a lot more time to actually come together to put something to make it happen. And just like, you know, his words, sir, it just seems a little bit more, it just sounds a little bit more concrete and different to me. Okay. So I started to comment, give it a little like and all that kind of stuff. If you guys want to check it out, you can definitely, um, you know, read the comments, see what people are saying and all of that jazz. Now, this is how it looks like in terms of what you could expect you know, um, for Pulse X, right? The exchange, obviously, to look like just a basic swap exchange, you know, something like Uniswap and such. Um, you know, you could uh, connect your wallet and do all that kind of stuff and participate in the test net, right? So, I want to show you guys something else as well. For those who don't know, way back when, uh, when was this? This was in July of 2021, bro. Look at this shit. Holy crap. Imagine, like, time really does fly, eh? But anyways, as you can see right here, I have my Pulse Chain Sacrifice, Okay. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. You know, obviously, would I have liked to put more in? Yeah, I would like to put more in, but it is what it is. Um, over here now, this looks like I got 1,571,680,000, you know, uh, Pulse X. All right, guys. So, I mean, I'm sitting pretty. We always say I should have put more in in retrospect, right, looking back. But at that time, guys, again, this is in July, as you can see right here. July of 2021, okay? I did two... Um, let's just call it sacrifices for Pulse Chain. The first one was $31,000, and um, that took place on uh, the 24th of July, 2021. And we all know, during that time, what was happening, man? There was all kinds of money being made in, uh, elsewhere in pre-sales, and the focus wasn't really on Pulse Chain at the time, right? Richard R. was sitting in front of his camera, and he was doing his thing, what he does best, you know, um, you know, spitting some, uh, some facts and telling us what he's going to do, what he's going to try to fix, and, you know... 
my full attention wasn't there. So what I'm trying to say is I would have put more like I normally do. But at the same time, you can't complain when, you know, I got about 50K in Pulse Chain. I would have liked to put 100K minimum. But it is what it is, right? So moving on, um, about, uh, what was it, two days later on Monday, I was like, what the hell am I talking about 31K? Let me, you know, put in another, another, another 19K, right? Another 19K to make it uh, a total of 50. That should, uh, you know, do me better. And, um, you know, that's what I got there. And I did get some points as well. I think it was like, what was it? 2.5x something like that points rate right here day 10 right so that's when i put it in the day 10 of the actual um sacrifice 7835 which gave me base points of 243 million 184 thousand damn that's not bad and then down here we have 135 million 177 thousand base points points ladies and gentlemen in total okay fifty thousand and some change there you go okay let's go down here now where you look at my pulse x pulse x was a little bit different i think this is when more people came in and you know the, uh, we're gonna get to uh, a couple of other uh, pages here as well and then we're gonna get to my actual launch prediction so stay tuned okay as you can see i put 100k um on the third of uh january 2022 100k in one shot that was on day six and um there it is right so i mean i think i'm still sitting pretty and let's go by this chart so so what you're looking at over here is essentially pulse chains chart in terms of how many people deposited how much money in terms of usd right so some mofos be putting in uh let me go like this some mofos be putting in like about 10 bucks and shit. All right, cool, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. So we got 10 bucks over here, which makes up the majority of people, believe it or not, which is 21,892 broke mother. And then it comes down, it comes down, it comes down like 2,500. That equates to about 10,000 people. So where I rank among here, since this is Pulse Chin and not Pulse X, is approximately right, well, not approximately right here. Which only a thousand one of one thousand four hundred and forty five people put in fifty thousand dollars into Pulse Chain, and mind you, it wasn't you know th this wasn't like it was known obviously, but the most money didn't come in here, as you will see in the next slide. Most of the money came into Pulse X. Okay, guys. So I mean, the average amount of funds that went into Pulse Chain, and you know, we're talking about whales here. Did this create a lot of whales? Not necessarily compared to other projects, right? If you look at other like say pre-sale projects, there's a lot of whales that happen there, right? You're gonna see a lot of people gone to the seed round a lot of people gone to the private a round and created immense amount of whales so that's great to know safe in that regard that how hey look you know we all don't like whales but you know one could also argue yes maybe not that much whales but what one could argue is well you got all your tokens but that's equal for everyone so it doesn't matter okay guys so i just want to kind of like highlight that there you know if you really look at this the average really is about i don't know like how do you we could average that out to saying it's like under two thousand, man you know, the, the average really is about $1,500 what people invested. So I guess I am a wheel. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, so we have since established that the average investment is about 1500 USD in Pulse Chain, which I'm actually very shocked, I gotta be honest. Why am I shocked? Because, you know, you know... Pulse Chain is a community that uh, supposedly is a very profitable community. But when you actually look at what this is telling us over here, this is telling us something different. This is showing a different story right here. This is showing us that how... What the fuck? Like, look, when, when we come over here, we come over to, like, the real areas. Okay, 100K, right? 100K tells us that there was only 259 people that did 100K. Um, 591 people did 250K. Okay, cool. And then 500K was 189 people. And a, a three quarters of a million, well, I can't really click that, but it's like probably about less than 50 there, right? I would have expected the average to really be, for Pulse Jade especially, you know, coming from the Hexians, to be the average should have been like about 50K. But it is well below that. Um, it is what it is, you know? I mean, that's a good thing, I guess, right, for people who wanted to come in. Okay, so let's carry on now to Pulse Excess metrics in terms of the average USD investment, okay? So this is now where you start kind of pop up even more. Why? Because Richard Hart started cranking his marketing, you know, after, you know, when that took place in 2021. This is in 2022 now, or the end of 2021, and a lot of people uh, caught wind to this. And, um, you know, just the promotions and uh, marketing and such did a really great job. 
Okay, so as you can see right here, significantly more people. Um, looks like the most people actually put in about 2,500, which is 24,901 wallets. When I say people, it's really wallets, okay? Um, and, you know, 5,000, we have about 12,074 wallets. So this is like a significantly more uh, wallets or people investing into Pulse X, right? Um, and I am about 100K I put in into Pulse X. So. There are 345 other people, well, 344 other people that put in about 100K as well, okay? And, uh, you know, we could go to the 500K mark, right? Where you get to the real ball of balls or the real whales, uh, 202 p 203 people there, and so on and so on. So the average here is roughly, I would say, about 2,000, right? Because quite a number of people put in about 250 bucks as well, Okay. Right, so 19,000 people put in 250 bucks, and about 25,000 people put 250, uh, sorry, 2,500 rather, okay, and um, 24,901 wallets put about $2,500. I would say the average comes up to be about, maybe about, yeah, could be 1,500, 2,000-ish, right? We could do the exact math on that, but you guys get the picture over here. So there you have it. If the average is coming down to say about 2,000, 1,500, however you look at it, that tells me one thing, right? And we're getting to my actual prediction right now, guys. Now, pay attention. You guys know, man, I like to keep it real. I like to keep it modest. You should never lie to yourself, you know, let your emotions get the best of you when it comes to investing. And the same is true for Pulse X and Pulse Chain. Now, this is what I honestly believe is what's going to happen. Because based off of the charts that you guys just saw on Pulse, on hexpulse.info, okay, right? If those numbers are accurate, that tells me that, number one, people don't really have that much money as you may think they do, okay, <laughs> in the community or whatever. Like if the average is like $2,000 going into this, people don't have that much money. And number two, it's been a very long bear market, right? It's been a very long bear market. And I think people are willing to take fucking profits at fucking 4 or 5x. You know what I'm saying? So let's just say Pulse Chain, Pulse X, what have you, does a modest 10x at launch, which I think you'll do something along those lines. Well, what's going to happen when you have every bond who has all of their tokens at their disposal? People will take profits. I'm not saying they're going to dump all of it, no, but they will take some profits, whether that's 20%, whether that's 10%, whether that's 50%. Bro, 10x right now in this market to some people is like 100x almost. And a lot of people are dying for liquidity as well. They got bills to pay. You know, we're going through this recession. So what I am led to believe, ladies and gentlemen, my humble opinion, and I'm bullish on, on Pulse X and Pulse Chain. Don't get it twisted. Long term, I'm bullish on this. Let it do its thing. But at launch, we have to admit, you know, People are going to sell for profits, even if it's a 10x. And I think we're going to see it come down. Like, when I say come down from a 10x price, let's just say it does. And it's going to come down to whatever that is. Maybe 3x of the entry price, whatever your average was. I don't know, right? Um, so there will be a launch. If there's, if there's profits to be taken, people will take the profits. And that will make the price come down. And then over time, that will recover. And I believe Paul's chain and Paul's sex will do what we all think it's going to do over time. Maybe a period of a year. Maybe a period of two years. Let it start to breathe. Let it evolve. Let, you know, these, these decentralized applications start to thrive. Let transactions happen. Let it organically build. You know why? Because true value... True blockchains that are very valuable and concrete, blockchains need time for true success. We need organic growth in this, okay, guys? And that's the honest truth, okay? So once again, I'll reiterate that. I think at launch, we'll see it do with some number of Xs. We'll see people take some profits. And again, this is different to Hex because when Hex went live, people were incentivized to lock up their tokens. This is not really the case here when it comes to Pulse and Pulse X. People are desperate right now, bro. Okay, if they need money, they need liquidity, they will sell a certain percentage. That's just the bottom line here. And when that happens, the price will go down a little bit. But over time, we should see Pulse X and Pulse Chain do its thing. And when the Pulse Chain actually goes live, I'll make another pr price prediction that I'm sure you all are going to love. So you know what? There's really much stuff to see other than until the next video. You're on your own. Later. Francis Dune Uncensored.